Hey guys, so I didn't think I'd have so many views on my last YouTube video, so I to show kind of where I'm at, uh, an update, and what I've gotten done. Remember, I'm just your average DIY homeowner, not a professional by any means. Um, like to do projects, so here you can see me. I rented a small U-Haul trailer to pick up some gravel, um, some brick from Home Depot. Um, so you can see the concrete rocks I kind of made to look like flagstones. Um, I wanted them to resemble kind of like a real rock. Um, I'm bringing in some gravel because I need to make a small retaining wall. Um, I just want the patio to be level at least underneath the pergola because we plan on putting a hot tub in there. Here's some action shots of bringing in some of the 57 stone that's under that retaining wall. Um, here's my wife helping me do one of the last few remaining concrete walk, uh, rocks we got here. And a lot of you are probably going to comment and say, you didn't even put any wire mesh in there. Um, you have no rebar reinforcement. Um, there is gravel in the bottom of all of those. Um, but to be honest with you, it's it's just human beings walking on there. We don't really plan to put any furniture. We have some hanging chairs we're going to do from the pergola. Um, so I'm not too concerned. You know, if they crack, you know, concrete's not too expensive um, in the bags. So I can always, you know, redo one if I have to. And if it cracks, I'll just break it throw it in my wheelbarrow, take it to the dump in my truck. So I'm not super concerned with it, but we'll see how they do. So far, we haven't had any issues with any of them, but we're down in Texas, so they just get beat up with sun. Um, like I said, I'm just your average DIY guy. So let me know in the comments if you guys recommend if I should seal them or if I should just leave them exposed. Um, how I did those concrete rocks, I found someone on YouTube that did them the same way. That mold is just a vertical vinyl blind, so I bought a pack from Lowe's for like 30 bucks. Um, so I could lay out how I wanted all of them to look. And those are just some old tent stakes that I used to kind of give it its form. And then left it in there for about 20, 30 minutes because it was super hot out. So I had to keep, um, I did water cure them. So as they started to dry, I gave them a mist of water from the hose. I'm um, just on the mist setting. Patio is coming together. Starting to put pea gravel in between. I like it, but I don't like how easily it moves around. I feel like it's just going to get kicked up on there all the time. I don't know. I want you guys' opinions. Like it? Don't like it? I have two dogs that sprint back and forth back there, and it's not too bad. We just leave a broom. It's not completely maintenance-free, but... Some more shots of getting the pea gravel in. Um, Lowe's actually ran out of these uh, these bricks that I'm using, um, or that stone that I'm using to cover up uh, the bottom of the pergola, just somewhere to put a, a drink. This is my concrete mold. So this is a DIY fountain. I saw another YouTuber who made this fountain. I did it overkill. Mine's four foot by four foot square. It took I think it took seven 80 pound, uh, 80 pound bags of concrete. So the thing was crazy heavy. It weighed like five, 600 pounds. Here's a shot of the pergola. I started adding, adding some privacy fencing um, on the top. I plan to do that around more of it. You can see I added a, a sunshade, um, just bought off Amazon, cut it, um, secured it down. Still got to tinker with it to get it to flow a little better. Clean up the edges from the mold. But a 600 pound, all concrete water feature. Just testing it, making sure it all works. One thing I regret that I didn't do is I did not run electrical back there. I still plan on running um, electrical back there, but currently I have to put in an extension cord just to plug it in, which is really annoying, but here's some cool action shots. I start covering it up with gravel. One thing I know about wood is people are probably going to say, well, that wood that's underneath there that's kind of balancing that concrete fountain is just going to rot. But um, that piece of plywood is three-quarter inch. It stays completely submerged. And my understanding with wood rotting and getting moldy is uh, it needs air. So if it's constantly submerged, um, it shouldn't rot. We'll see how it does. If it does, you know, it's just like anything. I'll take the concrete fountain down. And I'll put something else there. Um, the thing I like about the wood is it holds up the gravel really well. Um, I know they make some super expensive fountain kits to hold up heavy weight and to hold your rock up so you can have a pondless water feature. 
Here it is in action again. Working it pull. I took it off too soon, so it pulled off a lot of the concrete. So I took it off too soon, so it pulled off a lot of the concrete. So I still need to fix that, but I think overall it looks really cool. It's, it has great sound effects. Love how it looks. Uh, performs really well. I just bought a you know like a forty dollar pump off Amazon. Um, I'll link it below. So if you're curious on building this, I'll also link the YouTubers um, that I saw who first did this. And I just added like a piece of driftwood I had laying around at the house. Here I add some uh, uh, multicolored bigger rock I got from the same landscape. But this concludes my video. We'll wrap it up here. Hopefully this gave you guys some ideas. Um, if you have any ideas for me, how I could do something better. Um, I have pretty thick skin, so leave them below. Uh, remember, I'm just a DIYer. I'm not a professional by any means, so don't follow my work exactly. It may not be to your code. Um, thanks for you guys' time. Hopefully you liked it. Here's the last picture of my daughter playing in the fountain.